What's going on everybody? My name is Ben and welcome back to the bench for another episode of our F4D Skyray here on Ben Builds with Joe. We're going to move on today guys and try to get quite a bit of stuff done here on the Skyray. Want to go ahead and focus on some of the parts like the leading edge slats. Got those right here ready to go. A little bit of detail painting as well. We've got of course the tail skid, the rester hook, the landing gear, the landing gear bay covers, even the tail, all that good stuff. I want to go ahead and get this thing looking a little bit more like a Skyray and I want some detail painting all finished up. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our first time lapse, not waste any time, start working on those wing slats. We're going to paint up the anti-glare panel. We're going to use a neutral gray for that. And we're going to go ahead and work on the tail bumper and the arrestor hook. So let's go ahead and dive into our first time lapse, guys. Let's get it going. All right, guys, so we are back, and so far the Skyray is coming together. So far, so good. I want to go ahead and work a little bit more on the tail bumper. I've been doing some research, and it looks like the tail bumper isn't always fully deployed. Sometimes it's tucked up inside, other times it's touching the tarmac, but most of the time it's kind of in the middle somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and not deploy this to its full extent. I'm going to go ahead and make it about in the middle. So that's going to be easy enough. I'll tack it in. It won't be any sort of difficult there with that. I think that'll be more like what I see in the picture. For the arrestor hook, I did go ahead and use a black and white alternating band, glued that down so that worked out decently. We're going to have to go ahead and start working on some detail painting, especially around the intakes, and then of course around any sort of the tail areas, some of the tail leading edges, and then of course get everything installed and get it ready for some detail painting. I'm going to go ahead and jump into our second time lapse now, and I want to go ahead and focus on first off the intakes. There is a thin red band that goes around the outer portion and even the inner lip, as well as a tiny little band of red right there where the intakes meet the fuselage. So let's go ahead and keep it going guys, we are getting there. This is going to be kind of tedious, but let's make it happen.
All right, everybody. So we are back. And I got to say, painting those red outlines around the intakes, man, that is always so much hassle. But we've done it. It looks fine. They could be a little bit thicker, I think. But for the most part, I'm happy with it. Now, having to paint those was a real pain because the inside of the intakes are white. The outside of the intakes are gray. Just the lip itself is what ends up being red. There's also a very thin band that goes from the top to the bottom of the intake right against the intake splitter plate there on the fuselage. So that was extremely tedious to go ahead and mask. As you saw from the time lapse, I went ahead and hit everything with Leho red. After that was dry, I came back in and I masked off the area that I wanted to keep red on the inside of the intake, and then I shot it with a white color, just plain old Stano Res white primer. So that is good. We are ready to go ahead and move over to the other areas here on the aircraft. And the one place I do want to go ahead and tackle, this area right behind the canopy. Now I had my seam open up on the top of the fuselage spine. Joe had his open up as well. I know he and I talked about it a little bit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to seal and re-sand that little opening there right on top of the fuselage. But I'm also going to go ahead and take a bit of styrene and I'm going to cut it into a wedge. And I'm going to glue that down to the inside of the vent so you won't be able to see the seam line that runs along the top of the fuselage. I'm hoping that's going to be much easier to go ahead and paint, fix up, sand down, and make it look a little bit better. I also want to go ahead and work on the landing gears. I need to go ahead and install both the main gears and the nose wheel. Now, most of the landing gear bay doors are actually closed, so that shouldn't be all that big of a deal, but I do need to go ahead and do a little bit of work there on those and then come back and touch up the upper surface because there's a couple of areas where the tail meets the fuselage spine that needs to be sanded down and needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I did also paint the leading edges there on the tail with a natural metal color and the black up on top there. I don't know if that's 100% correct, but most of my references show that there's something there, and I have a good idea that this one also had a little bit of silver there on the tail. Let's go ahead and jump back into the time lapse there and work on the landing gears, all the gear bay doors, and then do some touch up with some paint. Let's keep it going, guys. We are almost done for today. Hopefully, this is looking good.
And we are back everybody. As you can see, the sky ray is looking pretty decent. I went ahead and put in those wing extensions because I wanted to blend the grays. And I think that's the best way to do it is actually to install it. So they are in and I don't think I'll take them out. I think I'll leave them the way they are. We also painted the red around the intakes. We fixed up the seam there on the top, got the leading edges installed and we painted and installed the tail. On the undersurface, I did go ahead and install the landing gears and the landing gear bays and the tail wheel, of course. But we need to come back at some point, clean up all of the white to make sure it's more uniform. Right now, it's a little bit stark. Then of course, I also have to come in and finish up the nose gear, get that all painted up and installed, make sure that that is good to go. And I think at that point, we are ready for future and finally decaling. So I'm hoping that's gonna be next episode. This thing is actually looking really, really cool. I'm liking the different colors. I like the insignia white, but I need to go ahead and blend that in a little bit more. So that will be next episode. Let's talk a little bit about the ordnance. I have read a couple of comments and it looks like for the drop tanks, we're gonna go ahead and keep the mid-air refueling probe on the left tank. That's gonna be kind of a cool little asymmetric design and I think it'll add a little bit of interest to it. It won't be so plain and regular just having two of the same drop tanks. So that is it for today, guys. Quite a bit of work here, a lot of detailed painting. Those intakes were not easy to do, but we have them finished. So I say let's go ahead and call it quits for today. So until our next episode, everybody, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. Make sure to swing on by Joe's channel. Check out his Skyray. I know he's going to probably finish his before mine. That's cool. He typically does. His Skyray is looking awesome. So make sure to go check it out. Drop him a subscription. Hit that like button for him. I know he appreciates it. But we'll see you back here on episode number nine for Ben Builds with Joe and our Skyray. Until then, stay safe, stay calm, happy modeling. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.